Hey guys, thought I'd make another video about Apple's latest Lion 10.7. Just because now people have tried it out and we have found some, or not me, but people have found some unofficial features that Apple haven't announced yet. And these are not all of them, but these are just some cool, interesting. And before I start this video, I know that the X in OS X, it means 10. But I say it as OS X because if I would say this title here with use 10 instead of X, then it would sound like this Apple OS 10 Lion 10.7. Now, doesn't that sound kind of weird? Yes, it does. So that's why I'm saying Apple OS X Lion 10.7. But yeah, so let's begin. So the cool new feature that we heard yesterday was this new kind of cool thing called Trim Support for faster SSD writing. Kind of cool, they're doing this Thunderbolt thingy faster than USB 3.0 and now we are adding a little support for this trim thingy. So I need to read some more about that and also they are made now, now so you don't have to use this OS X installer disk, OS X installer disk, because they made a little recovery portion to your startup hard drive. So you don't need that installer disk anymore, that's good, because I hate disk disks. You don't say disks, but installer disk. I hate those. And then also it seems like this program called MobileMe, it could work as a storage option and uh, a alternative to Dropbox. If you don't know what Dropbox is, it's basically we can share files to multiple computers pretty easily by using drop files in a simple box. In this case, the box is just a folder. So that's kind of cool. And also, they've added a new functionality called Find My Mac in the mobile me service. And also, they have removed support for PowerPC applications. And I know that PowerPC is a program for Mac OS X. And no, it's not a program. I don't know what it is actually. But I do know that Front Row is a program. And it was removed. It could be just be removed in this. Uh, development release that they release right now so we may see it back but you know it's just a program it's just a program and then also kind of cool I think there's a new program called podcast producer and it's like a podcast production tool that lets you create shows episodes and edit and upload upload and share it with all of your podcast friends so that's kind of cool a new program and then they've added Yahoo instant messaging support in iChat so it supports both video and audio and then you have iOS symbol key so you know in Tumble 7 they want to bring some things back to the Mac so that's obviously why they have iOS style symbol keys but yeah that's just some features maybe not that exciting maybe not but this podcast producer tool sounds kinda cool and this trim support for super fast SSD writing yeah it's cool it's awesome it's Mike. 